the steps on how you can journal and the things that you have to write about during your journaling. Three different prompt styles you can adapt to help you properly journal. Number one is record your wins. This could be the highlights of your day. This indeed is gonna help you increase your appreciation for life. You could also do what is called brain dumping, where you write your thoughts and feelings on paper. Normally, you tend to generate ideas, some passion project, or something that could be attached to the purpose of your life. Brain dumping could be done in a one page or two page, or however long you want it to be, depending on what you really want to explore and write about. The second prompt is writing about your feelings, and this is a form known as the expression writing. Write down your frustrations and challenges. It's going to help you find a better way to help you improve on the challenges, weakness that you have. And also writing down the strengths in your life help you identify the good qualities that you have that is helping you right now. Write about what you are grateful for. Express your gratitude towards life, which in turn elicits happiness. Take time to write down three different things that you're grateful for for the day. You could write about a person you appreciate. You can write about three different qualities that you really appreciate about a person that you are writing about. Writing about a decision that you have to make or some options of decision that you have to make. Thinking about some idea or thoughts and feelings about what you need to do. Do this based on the goals that you have writing about your five-year plan if there are three different routes that you want to take to attain the goal you can write those three different options down which you are eventually going to go back to review also you want to project your future in a sense that you write down what you want to celebrate in the future you're really projecting success and victory in your future. So writing some of the things that you really hope to attain in the near future, that is something that you want to attain one year from now, two years from now, three years from now, five years from now. Even you can start off by writing down what you are looking to attain at the end of the day, that is if you're doing your daily journal. And also you can write down what you are hoping to attain for the week, month, and year celebrating getting a better job celebrating starting a business or celebrating being able to pay off some student loan or some credit card loan or something that you are looking to get rid of also you can celebrate paying off debt or being able to save up to have emergency funds for six months these are all great things you can write about in your journal so that it motivates you to make a decision to take action to get you to meet your goals also you can write about your fears this is going to help you tackle your imposter syndrome that you have in mind you can explore writing about worst case scenarios not necessarily projecting the negative but what you can do to really prevent the worst from happening you can write about what you can do to repair the worst case if indeed it happens. Write about what you're gonna lose if you don't meet a goal that you have set for yourself. It is gonna really help you make better decisions which can drive you to take action, leading you to your desired results.